Hello guys. How are you guys doing? Of course, I'm the Shady Thrifter and today is Saturday, August the 24th. And I got up super early because as you know, from looking at my previous videos, I am traveling abroad in a few weeks and I'm so excited, so excited. You guys just don't know how excited I really truly am. This vacation for me is so important to me. Like I am so stoked. If you guys don't know me, um, so I am a 51 years old. I will be 52 in a couple months, in a few months. And this is my first time traveling out of the country, okay? I am going on a, and I don't want to tell you guys where I'm going yet because I'm literally going to vlog the trip, but um, I will tell you that it is a 14, 15 hour plane ride from here. And, and this trip is just so, it's so emotional for me because I am going to be going somewhere that I have always wanted to go and also um i'm just so happy so of course you guys know there's a lot of planning and preparation uh for me when it as it relates to this flight and yeah i have so much to do y'all i have gotten myself so focused and fixated on suitcases i don't know why i've been to other states within the United States and the United States territories. Like I've been to Puerto Rico, um, you know, to like the U.S. Virgin Islands, but I have not been outside of the country. And one of the biggest reasons why is because I had a medical condition that limits the amount of time that I can be on a airplane, okay? So I have like a blood clotting disease that limits the length of time that I can be on the airplane. So let's just leave it right there. So it's like an anticoagulation issue. So my doctor has okayed me with a blood thinner sort of treatment plan that will allow me to go further than five hours on the plane. All right, so I hope this all makes sense. Anyway, um, y'all, I have some really nice thrifted pieces that I want to show you guys, but I do think I'm going to save my vacation thrift haul for another video. However, I definitely want, um, y'all, my daughter is texting me because she is at a thrift store and she, she is finding like Givenchy. She has found Celine, and I'm sorry you may hear my phone go off because she just sent me uh, some pictures of a pair of shoes, and I was show. Oh, oh crap! She just sent me a picture of a. Oh, these are nice. Please get these for me. Hold on, y'all. Please grab them for me. I will pay you. How much are these? Oh my goodness. Yeah, my daughter just found these amazing, I will put a picture so that you guys can see. And I was like, please get these glasses. So she found three, oh my God, y'all are not gonna believe the glasses that she found. I was like, please get these glasses for me. They are drinking wine glasses and they are giving Gucci, baby. I'm going to post a picture right here this, so that you guys can see it. But anyway, um, yeah, so this trip means a lot to me. Um, it, like I said, it's my first international trip. It's a 14-hour flight. Um, I, My plan is not to buy new clothes for this trip because... I have so much in my closet that I can wear already. 
However, never say never because I'm going to stop at a thrift store today. First of all, I need to go take back some luggage that I purchased um, because I know I do want all white luggage, but I brought an all red set and then I brought an all white set. And then my daughter put me on to like TikTok, whereas though a lot of people on Amazon are getting complete luggage sets for like a fraction of what I paid for just two pieces. So, um, yeah, so I'm going through this luggage craze right now where I am, um, where I am literally, <laughs> I keep buying luggage. I have not gotten satisfied with the luggage that I have. Now, I will tell you, I do love the white set. And let me go grab those sets for you so that you guys can see them. Give me one second because I really want you guys to tell me your thoughts. And I'll tell you why I want the white set, but just give me one second. Okay, guys, so I went to get the luggage and I'm going to put a video here because if I record the luggage in landscape um it's not going to show you the full set but anyway i brought a red set and the red set is by max studio i purchased them from marshall's and i paid let me just see 59 dollars for the carry-on and 79 dollars $79.99 for the, the big suitcase. Now, I do like the red because I did want, you know, to easily be able to identify my luggage when it comes around the conveyor belt. So that's why I chose the deep, like, it's almost like a candy apple red. It's a true red. It's beautiful. But I don't know if it's going to fit the aesthetic that I'm going for. Um, the reason I say that is because I have a uh, Chanel Jumbo carry-on bag. It's huge, guys. And it has, it latches onto your luggage like this. And so I'll try to put it, I'll just put a picture or of it, how it looks when I do this, um, so that you can see as I'm speaking. But I wanted to see which set looks better with my Jumbo flat bag y'all I love this and it is so convenient because when you're traveling you can put this just unslide it off the the luggage and keep going you don't have to carry it on your shoulders so I'm trying to decide do I want the off-white bag that is by Kenneth Cole I believe and I really do like the off-white one so I may just keep that one and take back the red because I definitely know I don't want the red but what I notice is that the red is a slightly bigger than the white but it's also slightly cheaper than the white which I don't understand why um but yeah so that is the reason another thing y'all is that I am like I have raised three kids for the last the last 27 years of my life I've been raising my daughters and honestly I could never like take time out for myself the way I wanted to and this trip for me is just like a a reintroduction of me to me like I'm so happy and blessed right now in my life that God has put me in a place where I have, I live alone. I'm at peace. I have a wonderful job. I am doing things that I really wanted to do all my life. Um, and I'm just so thankful and grateful. So I decided today that I was going to literally kind of take you guys along with me. First, I'm going to go to Marshall's and then I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and then I'm going to go to a thrift store in Maryland. I actually live in Virginia. It's called Red, White and Blue and I just thought maybe it would be pretty cool to kind of take you guys along with me 
just for a day, you know, just like kind of a day out with the Shady Thrifter. Um, it's because I haven't been on here in so long and I really do miss you guys and want to catch up on some videos. So yeah, and today's outfit, of course, I'm wearing is a fully thrifted outfit. I will show you guys right here what it is that I'm wearing so that you can see and the dress is a thrifted H&M dress. My shoes are thrifted. These gold sandals, which I think are from originally, maybe somewhere like Rainbow, but I just love the um, the chrome gold that they are and Hair by Me. And if you guys want to know the deets on this crochet hair, because of course you guys know I have micro locks and I do love loose hair at times and I did I was able to find some hair that resembles African American hair and I absolutely love it although I have to drive so far to get the hair it's beautiful and I am loving it so without further ado we need to just get on the road and let's get this day started. All right. Okay guys, so I just pulled up at the Marshalls. Um, I'm definitely gonna take back the red ones. I did not bring the white ones because honestly, I think I'm gonna keep them. I haven't really decided yet and I wanted to um, just give it a few more days before I make a final decision. But I definitely know that I do not want the red ones for sure and so I'm going to return them and then head to the thrift store so yeah all right so I'll be back to take these back I'm in line waiting for my turn and yeah so I will come back when we are at the next destination all right guys Bye. so I'm on my way now just took back the suitcases and y'all that was a whole nother situation so the woman at the register I got I'm just gonna say she must have been new I, when I got in the marshals in the line to return the suitcases I realized that I didn't have my wallet so my issue was if whether or not they could put the money back on my card without my physical card being there um and I was so confused. I was so annoyed because I had driven all the way there and realized that my wallet wasn't in my purse. Thankfully, when I got in the car, the wallet was in the seat. So I didn't have to go back home. However, I did realize that when I was in line, the woman who, when I got to the register, I explained to her, I was like, I was saying, basically, I was asking her if I needed my debit card in order to get my refund and she was like I don't know I can try I had my receipt on my phone um and so she scanned the receipt and I only had two pieces on the receipt which were the two suitcases she then looked at me and she said two items I said yeah mind you I have the suitcases standing in front of me to return them so she said oh I need to call a manager so 
I'm like, call the manager for what? She was like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Let me call the manager. So my, mind you guys, I'm the only one in the line. This is 9.30 in the morning. So I'm in line. Now the line is starting to grow because she's constantly calling the manager on this little device that she has. She's like, I need you up front. So I said, why do you need the manager? So she keeps going, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Eventually the manager comes over and she says, um, yeah, what's going on? And the woman says, the sales clerk says, it's over a hundred dollars. Okay guys, so I just arrived at the red, white, and blue thrift store. This was about a 45 minute drive from my home. Um, and y'all, I love this thrift store, but the location, not my favorite. It is super crowded out here. It's just a very busy parking lot and a lot going on. So I try to focus as much as I can very urban let me show you uh, if you can see this is the thrift store right here red white and blue and so yeah so let me just I'm gonna go in right now I'm gonna switch over to my mobile device because I don't want to take my gimbal in the store. So, all right, let's go, guys. As much as I love this thrift store, whoever is doing the pricing is literally a lunatic. Um, it's ridiculous. The prices make no sense. It's almost like if they see a name, they just put like a huge price tag on it. And it's so, it's such a turn off for me. Like I, I do know that you have to pay for like expensive stuff, but it's still a thrift store and sometimes they can get crazy like literally insane so yeah
Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I did not get as much footage as I would have liked to have. Um, simply because it was just way too crowded. And they kept talking on the loudspeaker saying, you know, watch your personal belongings. So I wasn't sure, like, what to expect. And I didn't want, you know, to not be paying attention. And my purse or something gets missing. It is a lot going on out here. It's very busy. And so... I can't wait to let you guys know what I get, what I've gotten. Um, so I think I'm going to stop at the thrift store near my house. One of my favorite thrift stores. It's a unique thrift store <clears throat> near my house because my daughter went this morning. If you guys don't know, um, she was texting me. I think, well, I probably... And she got some stuff for me. And it seems like someone donated some really, really cool stuff. So she doesn't do well with, my daughter is not well good with thrifting like clothes. So she'll find shoes and household stuff, but she doesn't have the patience to go through like the clothes. So I'm going to just run in there really quickly to see what they have. And, um, then I'll go home and let you guys see everything that I got today, including the items. Hopefully the items my daughter got me. Um, can't wait to show you guys. So stay tuned. I know I keep saying bye and I keep coming back, but I just have so much I want to share with you guys. I've been gone for so long and I don't want you guys to miss out on the good stuff. So again i will be back and if i don't find anything super cool then i won't vlog in the next thrift store but i'll just come back once i get home and sort out everything all right so
tomorrow. That way I can show you guys everything I got without this video being so long. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.